Welcome back for some more Easy Blues Harmonica. And as you've no doubt guessed today, we're going to add in the sevenths. So, for each chord in our 12 bar blues, we're going to arpeggiate it. We're going to play the one, the three, the five, and the flat seven for each chord. So, we sort of know this one, but we'll quickly run through it. So, for our one chord, it's two, three, four, and five draw. For our four chord, it's so one, two, and three blow, and three draw half step bend. And then for our five chord, so one, two draw half step bend, three draw double bend, and four blow. All right, so we're going to use our same quist backing track. We're going to use the same triplet pattern. And this time we're going to hang out on that dominant seventh sound. Hear what that sounds like. So let's kick it off. simple pretty easy to do nice accent on that seventh so we can hear how that sounds but yeah that's not generally how I'd sort of play this sort of backing track that's much more of an experiment so I can hear the notes so for a bit of an example let's play with the six and then we'll play it again with the sevenths so <laughs>
so had a bit of a go with the six and had a bit of a go with the seventh and that's generally the best way to sort of separate them as you can hear it's even though it's only like a semi-tone difference like really we're only just or not a lot of difference between those two notes but it makes a big difference in how the music feels so if you're just sort of playing along and just going back and forth using them interchangeably then you get a very mixed up sort of sound but if you minimise things down and like say, OK, for this song we're only going to focus on the 6th, or for this song we're only going to focus on the 7th, you can get quite a lot of difference between things. So yeah, and just to finish it off, that's not really that triplet and the long hold isn't what I'd sort of like to play most of the time. So I'll just kick it off for the end, go back to our 7th, and yeah, see what we want to do. Follow our chord structure. We're going to use our chords, 1, 3, 5, and 7th degree of that chord. And yeah, let's have a bit of a play. and a seven for the end there. So yeah, quick run through of all our various little bits and pieces. Does it look like I need to? Yes I do need to pause that one. Cool. So yeah, get it there, have some fun, accentuate and yeah we've sort of gone through those now so we've got our backing track and we can lay out whatever we like there. And you'll hear when I played that one a little bit before, there's a bit of a mistake in there. I got a bit lost, doesn't matter, brought it all back together and kept on going. So yeah, get out there, have some fun. 